So students, now it's time to see some practical implementation regarding advanced animation. Of course, you can customize an animation in many ways on the animation tab. In the advanced animation, like here is the animation tab and in a group you have a lot of options let's see some of them first of all whenever you insert any animation on any object just select the object first and remember in objects we already discussed that there is text images pictures clip arts charts they are all include in objects so before inserting any animation just click on that and see here is multiple animations which is we have discussed before that entrance effects in phases exit and motion path if i inserted a swell swell uh, in uh, entrance effects it's it's like this okay remember this whenever you show the slide it will disappear then click it will appear like that because it's a entrance effect entrance animation effects now let's see some another animation effect which is in phases in phases means the object which is already mentioned like uh, we have lot of options and animation effects i will select grow and shrink it's look like that so understand this the object with already show in your presentation whenever you click on it it will be show like that now move on to other animation effects that is our exit animation effect like we have multiples exit animation effects here i will select a uh, show and uh, shrink and turn it will be exit like that it means your object will disappear after using that animation and the last is we have a motion animation effect here it means it will be move like that shapes like looping that's a loop motion path animation just click it it will be move like that i hope you will understand this we have lot of animation effects like you can see here more entrance effect more emphasis effect more exit effects more motion paths more interest in fact it's applicable on any object pictures and also in your text i will select more motion paths here see here there is multiple animation effects which you are using and inserting on any object it will be move like that okay so i will select a uh, five star points okay see here it will be move like a five star point and if you are using diamond it will be move like a diamond shape curve left and we have also a freestyle option that is our custom path it means you can draw a image or style or diagram it will be moving like that here i will draw a path here whenever i double click on it it will be moved like that understand students so these are the multiple animation effects in powerpoint now it's fine to our advanced animation options first here you can see i have added some lines and some insert uh, images and also inserting a text whenever you want to insert any animation just click on that and then go to animation tab you have three options number 1 add animation effects it's like that effect option and trigger first of all you have to insert any animation like uh, we have a float in option here it's it's move like that okay now in effect option click effect option 
to view more options about your specific effects remember that each effect has a different options try to experiment before you take a final decisions it means it's a effects option it will be moved like up and down and down from up so you can change this from here okay understand this so we have multiple animation effects and all animation effects have a multiple options here is add animation we have discussed already we have discussed this we have multiple animation effects whenever you want to insert any animation if you want to insert multiple animation on any single object you can just click it like that so we have two animation effects like one is entrance and number two is in phases if you want to insert more animation effect in that object so you can click on another multi uh, another animation effects now this number shows that how many animation effects will be inserted on that object so it will be moved like one two and three that we have discussed before so the add animation buttons offer more cool animation you didn't get enough check this out you can even create your own now it's time to understand that what is trigger trigger on a mouse click you have see title one content plus holder if you want to make your presentation more interactive this is the place to go you can start an animation after clicking and specific object on your slide it means whenever you insert it any animation like uh, when I select that object I will go to trigger option then click on a content place holder here you can see the icon will be changed in a trigger form and see here this is our uh, timing for the animation whenever we want to set the timing for an animation you can go that option go there First of all, click the text box with an animation, for example, float in that I have already select on the animation tab, the timing group. That's our, our timing group. You can see the duration is set default to a seconds is zero. Because delay is set by default is zero. Every uh, animation have a default duration. That's why it will be select, uh, it will be inserted zero here. You can choose, uh, change these numbers by typing or by using the arrows like that. So students, for example, if you want to set duration two seconds, I will click by using arrow keys and also you can type in it. Two seconds means in duration and delay, you can set the timer like duration two seconds and delay three seconds. Here I can select that duration. First of all, you have to understand that this means that the float in animation will last for two seconds. It means the duration of that uh, animation effect is two seconds and will start three seconds after the slides appear. Again, it means the delay is three seconds. Now see, F5 is the shortcut key of slideshow. Whenever I click it, the float animation will last for two seconds and will start three seconds after the slide. And now I click it. See here, it's move very fastly. Okay, we will do again. First of all, go to the object and select that. Go to float in option on the animation tab here. Okay. Now you have see that delay is zero second. You can set the duration of that object is two seconds for duration and three seconds for delay. Okay, now slideshow F5 is the shortcut of slideshow. If you want to uh, show the slide by keyboard, just press key F5 here. Whenever I click on that slide, it will be start after three seconds and hold for a two seconds. Click one, two, and three. I hope you will understand 
that how to set the timing for an animation so students do practice at your home more and more you will uh, you will learn uh, definitely <coughs> definitely uh, you have see uh, some cool and, and uh, very beautiful animation effects which is regarding in your microsoft office and products and if you want to see more tutorials if you if you want to see more more tricky and more uh, useful animations and transition effects and want to create game on powerpoint presentation visit my facebook page and youtube channel as well that is mohsin ms siddiqui i mean aps mohsin ms siddiqui so take care yourself and practice at your home thank you